Los Angeles Convention Center with 25,000 people running around in wigs and high heels and horns. I can't horns and, and horns and horns. Yes, There's a, horns are big this year. I think. Horns are, <laughs> I think a really important thing to say is if you if you aren't here with us today or if you're here and you're only catching tiny bits of it because there's so much going on. There are like 50 <laughs> panels, there's vendors everywhere, there's drag, hundreds of drag queens, and there's going to be content all year round, designed from today, coming out of today, on the RuPaul's Drag Con channel on YouTube. Walk into the hall, we've seen black, white, Latino, people speaking other languages. This is so exciting. Babies. Babies. Babies too, yes. It's a family thing. I mean, that's the whole point about drag. It's a metaphor for the modern condition. You're born naked. And the rest is drag, hey. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a good time, right? Are you having fun? I am having fun. This is my very first time here at RuPaul's Drag Con. It will not be your last. It will not be your last. Trust me. I know RuPaul is so supportive of his people, mm -hmm. and he makes sure you guys are making a living, and a lot of reality stars don't. The ones that are gone, they're... they're yeah. Gone. Oh, no, he makes sure that, obviously, like, Drag Con and, and like... Everything that we do with World of Wonder, we're always working, we're always being promoted, we're always, we're in the family, so. And Ruth takes care of people that aren't even her family. You know, just her message all around. World of Wonder have been big supporters of the film and they've like flown us out here to be here, and so thank you very much to them. And yeah, we just wanted to document the um, amazing alternative drag scene in the UK. And this is about the scene in East London, which is like, quite a particular sort of like alternative drag where people do things like they do their own material with a particular sense of humor and I was filming them for six years really and it took a long time for them to actually open up everyone wanted to film their performances first of all but they didn't necessarily want to talk about what makes them tick as people yeah. but I was determined to get that out of them and hopefully when you see the film you'll see that and you'll hopefully fall in love with them all as well hey, you are fierce I need to get that confidence Think you have to have that confidence every day. Just wake up and look in the mirror and say, "This is who I am," and love who you are, and you're good. Don't worry about anything else, and you're good. What a good philosophy! I'm gonna take that to heart. I need to work on me. Thank yeah, you. Work on that. Work on me. I like that. Work on me. So have you seen any real cool, stylish? Yo, people? the outfits, even outside, watching people walk in, were turned out. I got to educate my Uber driver coming over here on the difference between trans and drag. This guy's like 80 years old, and it was kind of awesome to see somebody from that generation be so receptive to what's going on over here. And for me, I was talking to you guys off camera a little bit earlier. It's really cool, all the diversity here. Absolutely. I mean, we gay, just saw the straight, yes. everybody's here and just so inclusive. And everybody looks fabulous. Tell us what you guys are here doing at DragCon tonight. Uh, we're here to support local, well, I guess, global queens from the show. And yeah. Local queens, yes. I am super excited to find out what was the inspiration for Crystal Lips? Oh, I bought a painting a year and a half ago, really quickly, of Marilyn Monroe, and it was in black and white, and I painted the lips red for the undercoat, and then I crystallized it with four different colors of crystals. I loved it so much. I'm like, that's amazing. It's so beautiful. I have to do that for people. We are debuting here at DragCon. We were so excited. Rue changed my life 20, over 20 years ago. I went into the beauty industry because of RuPaul and Supermodel, and I did drag when I was younger. It, it's just, it's, it's a full circle moment for me. I'm at DragCon and I had to stop because this bedazzled car is arresting. Okay, so this is a 1956 Porsche 356. It took 39 days, over 462 hours, to apply all of the crystals one at a time. And we use this one tool to apply the crystals. It has 247,140 Crystals. That's a lot of dedication to crystallizing. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, we're we like so splitters. So much feathers. Yeah, we're both so just like beautiful women. Yeah. Love it. Oh my god, they're gonna turn the Ah! See? Oh, you guys. It happens all the time. At, at, like literally every five seconds. Oh like, my god. Oh my god. Yeah. We love you guys on that show. I'm just trying not to cry. Well, I, well, I pretty much get like, who are you? No. He's <laughs> no. trying not to cry. Share with us a little bit about the panel. What did you guys speak about? 
Oh, New York in the 80s, 90s. I was the oldest one on the panel, of course. It's like, oh, I'm turning 50. Oh, I'm turning 49. I'm 60. Oh, you look great, great honey. Oh, mic. Thank Hello you. Dropping up the mic. No. Thank you. But it was fun reliving New York in those days, and we had a really good turnout. And it, like looking at their faces was like, Gosh, I wish I could have been in New York in those days. I'm I wish I would have been in New York, right, right. Sherry? That would have been fabulous, so fun. Okay.